Paradise. Welcome to Snaplit, where we take the best of literature and make it accessible to everyone. Today, we'll be diving into Abdur Ozok Gurner's Paradise, a novel published in 1994 that explores themes of identity, colonialism, and love. First, let's talk about the author. Abdur Ozok Gurner was born in Tanzania and moved to the UK in the 1960s. He's a critically acclaimed writer who's been shortlisted for the Booker Prize twice, and his work often explores the intersection of African and European cultures. Paradise is no exception, as it takes place in the late 19th century on the island of Zanzibar, which was a British protectorate at the time. The novel follows Yusuf, a young man who is sold into slavery and transported to the island of Zanzibar. He's purchased by a wealthy merchant named Aziz, who takes him in as a servant. As Yusuf navigates his new life, he meets Aziz's daughter, Amina, and they begin the forbidden love affair. One of the things that makes Paradise so compelling is the way it explores the complexities of colonialism. Aziz is a wealthy Arab merchant who benefits from the system of slavery and the exploitation of African labor. However, he's also marginalized within the British colonial system because of his race and religion. Meanwhile, Yusuf is an African man who is forced into servitude, but he also benefits from his proximity to Aziz's wealth and privilege. Gurner does an excellent job of showing how these characters are both oppressors and oppressed, and how their relationships with each other are shaped by these power dynamics. As Yusuf and Amina's relationship deepens, they face increasing danger from both the British colonial authorities and Aziz's own family. The novel builds to a tense and tragic climax, as Yusuf and Amina are forced to confront the consequences of their love. Now, let's talk about some of the standout passages in Paradise. One of the most striking aspects of Gurner's writing is his ability to create vivid sensory descriptions. For example, early in the novel, Yusuf is being transported to Zanzibar on a ship, and Gurner writes. The ship was made of wood and iron, and it creaked and groaned in the swell, and sometimes it rolled and shuddered so violently that it seemed it must break apart. The air was damp and salty, and the smell of the bilge mixed with the stench of sweat and vomit. This passage immediately immerses the reader in the world of the novel and creates a sense of foreboding that foreshadows the difficulties Yusuf will face. Another standout passage comes later in the novel, when Yusuf and Amina are spending time together in a secluded garden. Gurna writes. They lay in silence on the grass, and the sun crept across the sky, and the shadows of the trees grew longer. The world was vast and peaceful, and they were happy in it. This passage beautifully captures the sense of contentment and joy that Yusuf and Amina feel in each other's company, even as their relationship becomes more dangerous. Overall, Paradise is a rich and complex novel that explores important themes with nuance and sensitivity. Gurner's writing is both beautiful and accessible, and the characters he creates are fully realized and unforgettable. If you're looking for a novel that will challenge you and leave you thinking long after you've turned the final page, then Paradise is definitely worth a read.